Brittany Bourne, Okuchuru, had the advantage of developing his abilities in one of Europe's most effective talent factories after enrolling in the Rene Academy at the age of eight. Who is this young French midfielder that Chelsea have signed? Let us discuss this young, excellent and promising player in great detail. In the years that Okuchuru spent developing from a young player to a starter, names like Uzmai Dembele, Eduardo Camavinga, Everton's Abudule Ducore, are just a few that left the club and made a name for themselves. Though he didn't have to wait long, he made his Rene debut against Tijon in the 2020-2021 season, not long after becoming 17 years old. He would be among the league's youngest debutants in any other league. Of course, he doesn't even approach the top 15 France. Oguchiro played a rotating position for Bruno Genesio for the past two seasons while at Rene. He only made three league starts in 21-22, but he played more than 1,300 minutes in the league last year. But from the beginning, his 6 feet 3 inches height has made him stand out on the field and he hasn't often changed positions from being a defensive midfielder. He has played in some standout, captivating and incredible subpar games as well. Rene has placed fourth in League A consecutively for the past two seasons while utilizing a hybrid of a 4-4-2 and a 4-3-3 formation. Rene's frequently lines up in a 4-4-2 formation with the right wing attacking as a sort of false winger who moves inside to join the midfield while the left wing advances to the front line. In this situation, one of the two central midfielders will serve as a single pivot in a build-up and more of a defensive player. In this capacity, Ogochiru will function. He played the entire 90 minutes in a pivotal midfield position as Rene used a 3-4-3 to match PSG. Even though he was still the deepest midfielder, Ogochiru did move forward when it was essential. His 93% accuracy was the greatest on his squad and his 44 passes were second most behind centre back Fieti. Despite his passing being straight forward, it helped his side preserve possession in crucial areas. It was a confident effort and PSG's lone defeat of the entire campaign. The young player was also in the midst of his most impressive stretch of the season between the start of the season and early February. He completed two straight 90s without missing a game. Concerning moments have, however, been observed in the vicinity of these games. He took part in Rene's 5 0 trashing of Auxerre earlier in the season, but at one point when he made a careless forward pass, the home crowd booed him. Rene may have also been penalized for a mistake he made earlier in the match when he failed to follow the opposing striker as he ran into the penalty area and ought to have set up a goal if Okuchukuru had been running. His game can occasionally be hampered by a lack of awareness. Later in the season, Paolo Francesca, goal-hungry Lee Lil, pursued him in a 3-1 home loss after he had been substituted in with 30 minutes remaining. He only completed 8 passes, was tackled twice and appeared to be the Lil's press target. This may be the reason why Genesio began to cap Ogotiru's playtime as the season progressed. With that encounter against PSG marking the last time he went over an 80 minutes in a game, Rene lost 6 games in 14 when he started. When he didn't, they lost 6 in 24. That is some interesting stat. And also you shall see some little diagram showing him receiving the percentage of, of it, the percentile, the ball winning aspect, sweeping, possession, 58, 54 passing, you should, you should be seeing it. Obviously, you can see the ball winning number four ranking in terms of percentile rank, 35 is there, you can see 28, and you know, the little note there is obviously there to say that top seven European League players with, you know, so and so. But it is safe to say that Okuchuku profile more as a progressive passer than a ball carrier. Despite some box-to-box -box inclinations, even yet, he, he feels real secure with it and doesn't want to take any chance with losing it. 
even though he plays relatively deep in the build-up, he doesn't have a very high pass completion rate. According to FB Ref, Oguchuku typically completes approximately 38.2 P90, placing him near the bottom of the squad. His performance against PSG was an anomaly. That's crucial since switching to the Premier League will already result in him spending less time on the ball and better coordinated passing, pr pursuing him as the game develops. At Chelsea, where Pochettino's team will undoubtedly try to control the ball, he cannot afford to be treated like a passenger. Other possession is one place where he can make a direct contribution. He triumphs in a staggering 69.4% of his aerial contestants, placing him very near the top of Chelsea's roster on that category. That's in a league where he frequently finds himself as one of the more youthful players on the field, as well as one that the current Chelsea manager commented for its aggressiveness. In addition to being effective in tackles and interceptions, Okuchuku is also a competent presser. In Rene's squad from the previous season, just two players attempted more tackles per 90 than him, while only one made more interceptions per 90. He excels in the struggle for the mid middle and would benefit in any side in that aspect, at the very least as a replacement. On the club's end, it's troublesome to have Okuchuku start the Premier League season as your DM. He may have his moments of brilliance but at his core, he is still a prospect learning from his mistakes and developing as a player. Okuchiku inclusion in the squad may be necessary though, given how thin Chelsea's midfield ranks are. However, it's not because the Blues require Okuchiku, rather they require anyone who can play DM in order to prevent Pochettino's team from being dangerously underprepared when the season begins. So obviously there are some sorts of belief that he'll be going alone at the time of recording. This video may come out and it could be confirmed that he's either staying or he's going out on loan. But at the time of recording, it has still been yet to decide on where he ends up. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, Okuchuku is a, is a name that I'm struggling to pronounce. I probably butchered it throughout this video. Um, if there's any, you know, French speaking person that ends up watching the video, you can always correct me, you can help me with pronouncing it because I think I probably butchered it, probably said it good once or twice, I don't know. Depends on what the pronunciation would be like, depending on the language. But um, yeah, I, I think he's a, a player that is one for the future and you never know. He could be uh, another Casado-esque player like what happened at Brighton. They loaned him out for half a season and after he impressed there, they called him back and you know he played for the, the, the remaining part of that season and he he became a key player for them so you never know maybe we could have our own casado on our books you never know so that's the end of this video like i said cheers have a good one roll to 1k like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time cheers